everybody, I'm the Hive King, and today we are playing Valiant Hearts on the Xbox 360. I originally wanted to record this for, um, I mean, on the 4th of July, uh, don't remind me later, uh, but I, well, uh, there was some recording issue where my wire unplugged so I couldn't keep recording, and after recording a lot, I didn't want to continue, so I'm going to start a new game and uh, start recording from there. And there are historical facts and things in this that I'm going to read about uh, because if you don't read the things, I feel like you're freely inspired by the events unfolding on the Western Front between 1914 August and 1918. 1st, 1914. After the assassination of Prince Franz Ferdinand of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, the German Empire declares war on Russia. Because of established alliances, France is preparing for conflict. A few hours after the announcement of the general mobilization, German civilians living in France are asked to leave the country. Karl is one of them. Poor Karl. <sighs> Flop. Flop. Oh, look at that baby. Or whatever you can see of the baby. <gasps> People. Several days later. Concerned that the baby in the basket isn't a few days anymore. after Carl was deported, the war was hungry for more and took away Emil as well. A heavy hearted Emil was called up to fight and left the farm for San Miguel. Like so many others, he had no idea what fate had in store for him. Okay, so here comes the historical facts. Okay, war is declared. June 28, 1914, Archduke Franz Ferdinand, heir to the Austrian-Hungarian throne, was assassinated in Sarajevo. Uh, as a result of the chain of diplomatic and military alliances in place, the event launched Europe into an armed conflict that, with the involvement of the colonies, took on a global dimension. August 1st, Germany declared war on Russia. August 3rd, Germany declared war on France. August 4th, Britain declared war on Germany. August 11th and 12th, France and Britain declared war on Austria-Hungary. Barracks and the regiment. Battalions comp compromised of a battalion headquarters and four companies, a total of 1,007 men in all. Companies were composed of four platoons, in turn divided into four sections, each of 12 men commanded by an NCO. Britain was now was slow to mobilize on the Western Front. Half its army was overseas with a genuine fear of invasion. Infantry divisions were held in reserve in Britain and not included in the British Expeditionary uh, Force. While conscription only came into force in 1916, voluntary enlistment was initially overwhelming with 750,000 e men eager to show their patriotism. Railways. The outbreak of the war, each country was eager to dispatch its army in C2 as quickly as possible to gain the advantage. Railways were essential for mobilization and supply. By August 14, 1914, the British realized the importance of the rail in the war effort and dispatched Royal Engineers to the front to build new lines. By 1917, 40,000 enlisted railway soldiers were working for the RE in France and Flanders. The debacle of August 1914. In the early fighting, uh, the German army made swift progress after invading Belgium. They marched on Paris in late August. In late August, French troops retreated and Massey 
and units were outflanked and repelled, taken prisoner or killed. The months of August to September 1914 marked the bloodiest period of the war, with over 180,000 French casualties alone. The French authorities described the debacle as an organized retreat. The war to win over the public had begun. And yeah, I have five items to find, which I will search for. So, uh, I don't quite remember where all the items were because I haven't played this game in a year. So, you know, I might have missed some stuff. Stop yelling at me, you! Get out of my face! I don't care if you're my commanding officer. I'm in my undies, let me out! Oh, fine, if I can't get out. Sup, undies, man. None of you guys have eyeballs. All of you just have lines going across your very thick faces. And many of you have the same face. That guy who is directly above me has the same faces as those two guys now directly below me. That's kind of weird. Okay. Oh, no. No, I'm in clothing. Oh, hey, look. I don't go down that step. I just kind of... Move along. Hello, trumpet man. You gonna yell at me again? Anyone yes, you are. Come on, be your trumpet man. Charge! In the opposite direction. Ah, I guess I can't go back there. Charge! Okay, there. Now I'm charging. Stop, General. Yeah. Oh, you like it? Okay. Let's go. You're my buddy now. You're my buddy, Jen. Yep. Oh, man. I'll beat your bud out. Yeah. Thanks, General. I know. I've got a pretty good arm. Good grenade. Get my bubble. Slam I can take another one, but I'm not going to because I believe there's something to do later. It is one. Woohoo, thanks. Oh, I remember this one. Yeah. Yeah. German helmet. The legendary pointed German helmet of Pickelhaub was used by German forces until 1916 and was then replaced by a much more efficient steel helmet. The different parts from the helmet, including the point for defense against saber attack, were adapted according to the rank, origin, and weapon used by the soldier. On some helmets, the point was rounded. Continuing, now I'll beat the fudge out of this table. Bro, go! Thanks, man. Oh, I go. Can I make a uh, Before I continue, historical facts. No, please. So I need this weird thing. A whistle, some card, and a bullet. So you guys keep your eyes out for that and scream at your uh, screens when you see any of that stuff. Uh, and you. Up, 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 up. Tinder lighter. While petrol lighters uh, were popular in the trenches, soldiers also used tinder lighters. The cotton wick was doused with saltpeter or lead chromate to make it more readily flammable and was extinguished by simply drawing the wick back into the cylinder. I ain't gonna miss that. I'm not gonna miss my wick. Uh, oh, wrong way. Go up! Oh, I don't have to remove it. That says, like, Republic of France, 150th Regiment. Something my dear like Marie, we are on our way to Paris. The atmosphere here is strangely cheerful. Now, I hope that the harvest goes well. Rely on our neighbors for help. They've always been gracious and charitable people. I'll write again as soon as I get my assignment. Please kiss my little grandson for me. Okay, resume. At the train depot in Paris, trying to reach his regiment at Platform 21, Emile would meet the man he would soon fight alongside. The man who would come to be his truest friend. What is it, you? No, oh, 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 you made a hand, I guess not you. Why are you guys getting those golden apples? This is worth a lot on Minecraft. You're just throwing them at that guy. You know you're only getting his health up, right? 
They're probably all in his inventory. What is this? What do these do? Oopsie. Did I give you lung cancer? My bad. I hope you don't mind. I'm not taking your bottle. Hey, what happens if I do this? Oh, yes, I remember this. Uh -huh. I found you. Station master's whistle. Steam trains made stations very noisy places. There was no loudspeakers and no display panels, so platform officials had to shout train information to passengers. Whistles were the best way to attract passengers' attention. So, uh, how long have I been recording? I've been recording for about 10 minutes, so I guess I'll end the video right here for now with my little back and forth dance. Oh yeah, group it. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next video, and. Uh, and now the Hive King lets now the Hive King plays Valiant Park Part 2. Bye! Hey,